Hello friends, welcome to SQL Performance Tuning video series. In this video, we are going to learn about what is hard parsing and what is soft parsing and which one is good from performance point of view. So whenever we are talking about hard parsing and soft parsing, always we need to understand two more keywords related to this. One is called library catchy miss and another is called library catchy hit. To understand what is a soft parse and hard parse, it is very much essential to know how a SQL statement getting executed internally inside the Oracle database. I have already covered the basics of this information in the video number two. The link of this video I'll just give in this iCard here. Also I'll give in the description. I would strongly suggest you to watch this video to understand hard parse and soft parse better. Just to give you a quick overview about how a SQL statement will get executed internally. And let me just quickly take you through this so that it is easy for us to understand what is hard parse and soft parse. Suppose if a user enters an SQL statement, the moment the C statement reaches Oracle database, this the first step what Oracle is going to do is called a syntax check, where Oracle will check whether the statement is as per the expected syntax. In case if the statement is not as per the expected syntax, if there is any syntax error, then Oracle will throw back an error to the user. Once the uh, statement passes the syntax check, it will go through the next check called semantic check. Basically, Oracle will check here whether the database objects, whatever is referred in the query is correct. For example, is it a correct table? Is the column referred in the statement is a valid? And whether the user has the right privilege to execute the statement. So all these things will get checked in the semantic check. In case if the user doesn't have the right privilege to execute the statement, or if the objects referred in the uh, statement are incorrect, then Oracle will throw an error to the user and it will ex stop the execution. Once the statement passes the semantic check, that means if everything seems to be proper, then it will go through the next check called shared pool check, where Oracle will check whether is exactly the same statement was executed previously. If yes means Oracle will be able to uh, get the relevant execution related information from the shared pool so that it can reuse all those information. In case if the query is getting executed for the very first time, then it will not find anything in the shared pool, then Oracle has to proceed with the next step. So together these three steps, that is the syntax check, semantic check and shared pool check are called parsing. So once the parsing is done, Oracle will send the statement to the next step called optimization, where Oracle will generate the multiple plans for the statement and it will pick the most optimal plan and then it will send this plan for a next step called resource generation where Oracle will generate the stepwise execution plan which will be given as an input to the executor where the executor will execute the statement and the result will be sent back to the user. Okay, So this is what will happen at a very high level. Suppose if the query is getting executed for the second time, then Oracle will find all the relevant information in the shared pool itself so that it can pick the execution plan and all the relevant informations from the shared pool and directly it can execute and the result will be sent back to the user. So this is what will happen at a very high level. Okay. Now with this information, we'll see what happens if we re-execute the same query multiple times. Let's assume that we are executing a query for the very first time. Okay, this query is getting executed for the very first time. Select test query one from dual. So basically what will happen? The query will reach the Oracle database. Oracle will definitely start with the syntax check because this query has never been executed earlier. So it will obviously start with syntax check, then semantic check, then shared pool check. Obviously in the shared pool, Oracle will not be able to find this relevant information. So it will proceed with the next step for optimization, then row source generation then execution and once the query is executed, the result will be sent back to the user. Okay. Now let us assume that exactly the same query is getting executed for the second time. So now what will happen? The query will reach the Oracle database. Obviously Oracle will do the syntax check, semantic check and shared pool check. And this is common for any query irrespective of whether the query is getting executed the first time or n number of time. So definitely it will go through syntax check and semantic check. When it go through the shared pool check, Oracle will be able to find the information that exactly the same query was executed just before. So Oracle will be able to get all the relevant execution related information from there. 
and it will pick all the execution plan and it will directly send the information to the executor. It will not regenerate the plan again and again in this case. So what happens here is that Oracle is actually skipping two steps. That is the step number four and step number five. And directly the execution related information Oracle will pick from the shared pool and the information will be given to the executor and the executor will execute the query and the query will, re will return the output to the user. So now here we are able to see two different path. The first path is that when Oracle is not able to find or when a query is getting executed for the very first time or if the Oracle is not able to find the relevant information in the shared pool, then Oracle will go through all the six paths that is syntax check, semantic check, shared pool check, then optimization, row source generation and execution. So in this case, Oracle will go through all these six paths whenever it is not able to find the parsed version in the shared pool or if the query is getting executed for the very first time. And this parsing is called hard parse where it will go through all the stages. The second scenario is when we are re-executing the query again, then Oracle will be able to find the relevant information in the, in the shared pool. In that case, Oracle doesn't have to regenerate the plan again and again. Instead, it can directly pick the relevant information from shared pool. And this is called soft parse, where Oracle will reuse the plan which was already generated in the previous execution. So whenever a hard parse is happening, it is called library catch miss. That means Oracle is not able to find the relevant information in the library catchy. Very similar to this, whenever a soft parsing is happening, it is called library catch hit. That means it is able to find the information from the library catchy and it is able to reuse the information. Higher the percentage of library catch hit means better the performance of the system. Higher the percentage of library catch miss means lower the performance. So for the system to be more optimal or performance oriented, in general, the hit ratio should be more than the miss, means soft parsing happening more than the hard parse. Let's see with a small example now. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to execute a query. First, let me execute a query, exactly the same query. Let's execute a fight and let's say test query one from dual. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect to um, this user and we are just going to see the information in the v$SQL table. Because whenever the query is getting executed, uh, once the query is passed, all the relevant information we'll be able to see in the dynamic views. So one such view is the v$SQL where we'll be able to see like how much time a query is executed. So for every time a query is passed, you'll be able to see one entry in the v$SQL. So let's query from the v$SQL. Select star from v dollar SQL. So let us try to query like where SQL text like. I'm just giving the same text. Let's say test query one. And obviously it will return the same query also. So let's omit the same query because it, it includes this query also. So I'm just going to omit this query. And SQL text not like v dollar sql so that we can we can just omit the current query whatever you are running okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to execute this the moment you executed this query if you if you see the information you will be able to see that this query is executed and one more uh, key call there are a lot of important columns here but let me show you one key column here there is a column called execution which will say that how many times this query is executed okay now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy paste the same query again. Let's copy paste the same query five times. So now I'm going to execute the second query. I'm executing the third query and I'm executing the fourth query and I'm executing the fifth query. So what happens here, if you see, still you will be able to find only one row. That means the query is passed only once. But if you see the column executions, you will say that the query got executed five times. Okay. Now let us understand with one more example, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put test query two, okay? So let's see, let me just make this also two so that we'll see whether the query got executed. Yes, now the query got executed. So you're able to find one entry in the v$SQL. You can see that execution is one, perfect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy paste the same query, but this time I'm going to change the structure of the query. See, 
this is the only change i did only the structure is changed but technically there is no difference in the query both the queries are exactly same but the first query is just written in a single line but the second query is slightly modified means it's not technically modified only the structure is modified now, now let me execute the second query now i have executed let us check what happens here now if you see here there are two versions two parsed versions because oracle will parse whenever there is whenever the query is exactly same or let me put it like this oracle will reuse the parsed version when you re-execute exactly the same query for example in our first case we re-executed exactly the same query but in the second case technically the query is same but structure wise it is different so let me just copy again let me put one more version so that we'll understand let me put a space here there is no other change i'm executing the third query now if you see you will see three versions of the query three parsed versions one for each and the executions you will see like one for each okay so this is what i mean like whenever you re-execute exactly the same query oracle will reuse the previously executed parsed version okay let us see one more query let's say select star from employee where employee let me just select this where employee number equal to let's say 7369 okay let me i'm just executing so let us check this this query so i just executed only once now so obviously we will be able to find one entry in the v dollar sql so it is parsed and executed so we'll be able to see it is executed one now i'm just going to copy the same query i'm pasting it only thing i am changing is the variable the literal value double seven double eight now let me re-execute it it is executed now if you see you will find like two parsed versions here one for the employee number double seven double eight and one for the employee number seven three six nine so in this case also even if there is no change in the structure of the query the query went into two parsing because there is a change in the query's value so in this case also oracle is not using the same parsed version okay it is trying to reparse again that means in this case also oracle is going through hard parse for each query so this is the scenario where we can use the bind variable to say that i want to reuse the parsed version but for a different value probably i will talk about the bind variable in a different video because i need to explain a bit more concepts i hope this video have given you a small introduction about what is hard parsing and soft parsing and uh, we'll talk about the bind variable probably in a separate video but one key point is using a bind variable will uh, make use of the soft parsing rather than hard parsing so all the related video for this video series i just uh, given in this video link the link of this blog link is given in the description if you have learned something new please like this video your like and subscription will motivate me to do better content every time please subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question concept video performance tuning video sql practical question and thanks a lot for watching this video